we almost went into it as a anyone anywhere and we're still trying to add another marquee game a national game so um we just felt like it was our responsibility to try to play as, as good of a schedule as we could and a lot of these tournaments and classics they weren't uh, offered to us in the years past. So when they were, we felt like we needed to take advantage of them. And we said yes immediately. And to be honest, scheduling actually got easy because our name got better. I think everyone's respected our players and our talent the last few years. But I don't think our name was strong enough to get in these events and, and for television as well. Well, now with, with all that happening so quickly, uh, a lot of these event organizers reached out and, and we said yes. So uh, we, we wanted to try to, to put FAU in, in a national spotlight, but we also wanted to be in position to schedule an at-large bid uh, in, a, in, the, in a conference that traditionally gets more than one. So we wanted to, to be in position on that last weekend where we're not playing uh, with our lives on the line. Now the unintended consequence uh, will be a, a, a consequences will be a lot of sleepless nights uh, when you look at, at how daunting our schedule is. Even when you factor in the the mid major opponents, we're playing Bryant in Northern Kentucky, who won their league, went to the tournament, uh, and, and was leading a lot of the game, and, and they bring back a lot. So. Uh, the, the, the scariest part are not just the marquee games, but it's just the, the home and aways we have uh, 